down at the number one lounge in Catwalk. That was probably the least stressful like home to airport ever. I was on time, I was early. I've had like two and a half hours sleep, but it is what it is, isn't it? We move. I want to a little brekkie. Little one, two scrambled egg. Little bacon. Little beans. <laughs> little rusty. So, we're going to get it today. We're off to, uh, we're off to Geneva. I'll be, I'll be in Geneva at sort of 8, 8 9 a.m. And then um, I've got a three hour drive to Teens. Bonjour, Teens. Where my sister is doing a little ski season, the legend. She's doing what every 22 year old should be doing. If they haven't got any real idea of what they want to do with their life a long time. I'm absolutely buzzing for it, so I can't wait to get out there. So we'll be hitting the slopes, uh, hopefully, this afternoon. Uh, obviously, definitely tomorrow. And uh, I'm absolutely buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. I'm going to do a little bit of work. And then we'll be off again. sister really really nice we just about managed to get out for the last two lifts of the day so we basically I got to teens checked in went straight to the board shop bought a whole board setup which I'll show you at some point this weekend which I'm super excited about so board binding and boots um, realistically because I'm coming I'm coming skiing every year now so it just kind of makes sense to do it have a, a setup that I'm used to and is a bit more optimal than the old rental pieces um, but yeah did that and then literally sprinted down to get a bus down to Teens La Clare I think to get a ski pass where the French woman was like no you're not going to pay 25 euros for, for 15 minutes and I was like yeah I am give me the ski lift so we got a ski pass went up got two lifts did a couple runs just kind of Field, felt the board out, felt myself out again. And then went back and went with some lovely Thai food and now she's gone off to work. She's babysitting tonight. And it is currently 7.59 and I am absolutely exhausted having been up since 2.10 a.m. It's not looking good, bruv. But before, just before we go to bed, before we take you on to day two of this trip, I'll give you a room tour. If you've been following this channel for a while, you'll know I only like to stay in super luxury places. I love my, my nice hotels uh, and, my, and my bougie accommodations. I thought I'd just show you a full tour of, of where I'm staying. So just hold tight a second. Yeah, so there you go, that's my whole room. 13 square meters of absolute luxury. We've got the toilet in here, which is, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you it because it's a lovely brown color. Very good. We've got the front door behind me. And then as we just literally come around the corner, obviously huge walk-in wardrobe with the door coming off, which is decent. A single bed, which is going to do me just fine tonight. And then actually the bathroom's pretty sizey. So there you go. That's where we're staying for the next three nights. Anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm going to go to bed tomorrow, full day of.
recovery. Yeah, no, that makes sense, man. It's, <clears throat> it's a big challenge. It's definitely something that's um, it's going to be a, a, a cool achievement once you've done it, for sure. The absolute classic buffet bo body builder breakfast. <laughs> Boiled eggs and bacon. <laughs> and some pastries. Yo. This is what we're sending now. Big, oh no, we've got another lift actually. And then we'll send it. How are we doing? Excited? Woo! Day one. We're at the peak. Give you a recce of the new board. They call it the bear, because it's got a bear on it. No idea if it's any good. So it's a Burton Process 162 with the Cartel black bindings and then some Burton boots. Full Burton set, very nice. Excited to see how it goes. I'm here this weekend and then next weekend as well. Sorry, next week, next month. And it costs about 250 to rent for a week anyway. So I already would have made some money back. Um, but the whole setup was about a grand. As I say, I'm coming quite regularly now, at least once a year, so within four years I would have made that back and then some, so it was worth it. And it's nice to have your own setup, you know what you get in each time. We ready? Started in teens, heading over to Valley D. Let's get it. Where are we now, Ella? On the famous left. Why is it famous? It's the steepest lift in Europe. The steepest lift in Europe, as you're about to see. As we reach the summit, it's basically like oblivion. <laughs> so look down. We're gonna stay here, lads. Day one, full day one of boarding done. After last night, so I bought my board last night and I was, when, I, when we, went, we went for a couple of runs, rushed ones and I was like, oh my God, this don't feel good. I was thinking, what if I my board that I've just bought and it's got to last me 10 years and I can't return. Um, but it was fine today, much better. Um, I don't know how much of you know about snowboarding, but very uncomfortable on the feet and at, towards the end of the day I get a bit hangry and my feet are aching I'm a bit like right <clears throat> get me some food and a beer right now um, we've not actually eaten yet so today all I've eaten so far is those eggs that we had that you saw me have this morning a bit of granola a couple of mini pastries and uh, a coffee and I just had a, a lot, nice large beer in the sun there. So we're gonna go and get some food now. Uh, and then go see what the app is saying. I'll take the, everyone's take my phone with me. Um, but yeah, fantastic day. It's, uh, it gets very cold here, unsurprisingly. Um, so I need to wrap up, because we'll be out probably now until it's dark. At which point we'll go to dinner, but yeah, wicked day. Absolutely love these holidays, fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed watching this so far. I don't really think there's too much value to be added, but I guess for me it's just about memories, documenting these things. Really cool to be able to come and see my sister. She's having a wicked time. I think she's doing what most 22 year olds should do, to be honest. I don't know if I said that in this vlog already. I think I might have. Um, and I'm super happy with that 360 footage. 
I've just got to work out how to like edit it properly in the future. But that was sick. Very cool investment that is. Full apro fit. We're ballied down with the ballet, the hoodie, the CB puffer, and then three layers underneath. Air Force Ones, obviously, absolute imperative ski resort crap. Nice and thick, comfy, grippy, versatile, and then obviously the split pants. You know me always wearing the split pants, addicted to baggy split pants. Right, my sister's waiting for me, so let's go get some food. And then let's go out, What's going on here? I've got the angles all wrong. You still loving the size of my room? Good, isn't it? <laughs> Swing a dead cat in it. I look like a Francis Bourgeois, like <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a bar. <laughs> we need the we need a flash on in here. <laughs> Get your phone out, we need a flash. Can't see nothing. You can lose breath. You can write your name in here. It's out on that end. I just sat here watching my boy Mo Samuels on YouTube. He threw to he flew to Spain by himself for 25 quid because it's cold and depressing. My flight was a little more expensive than that, but I think bang for buck, fantastic place. So this inspired me a little bit because quite a lot of today I've been, I keep looking at the fucking screen. Quite a lot of today I've been like, what is, what, what is this, you know, what is this video? What value are you going to get out of this video? So let me deliver some value. In terms of ski resorts, I've been to I've now been to Teens, Val Turen, like two three times. Uh, that's it. So actually not. I've been to La Tuile in Italy. That was shit. Val Turen's incredible. I'm going to Chamonix in in four weeks. So I'll be able to give you a bit more of a well-rounded perspective. Oh fucking hell, I've been to Courchevel. I've been to Courchevel as well. Um, I think so far Teens is my favourite. And I've only been there a couple of days. Or a day and a half, not even a day and a half. And it's really, really good. There's a vast amount of skiing to be done. The town, it like the, the, the place itself, teens as a place, is broken up into what I think is two or three little like town centres, like little hubs. Um I'm staying in, in Teens Lac, Teens La Lac, the lake. My sister's staying in Val Clare, which is like just around the corner, and then there's another there's another one. Or am I getting confused? Anyway, you can get between all of them quite easily, either walking or by bus. Maybe 15, 20 minute walk between them, uh, or like a 10 minute bus. Um, it's free by the way. But really just like fantastic resort. Lots of cool bars, like very, very barry. Uh, we've not managed to go to any sort of club, but we, you will have seen the footage from earlier. That was in Coco Rico, which is unreal. Really, really good. I if my mind doesn't escape me, I think that's Valcare. But I could be wrong, and I'm sorry if I am. Um, but yeah, Coco Rico, highlight of the night. We then went to a few other bars, uh, which didn't quite live up to the standards of Coco Rico, but it's, it's all good. Uh, and I finished the night with a, an SOS pizza on the walk home and, and some Hagen does, um, which I'm okay with because genuinely, I barely eat anything all day. And I really like ice, ice cream, so there we go. Back home. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish off this video, most video, and then I'm going to bed. And I'll meet my sister in eight hours and thirty-two minutes. We're gonna meet at the lift, we're gonna skip breakfast tomorrow so we can get straight on the lifts, head up, get some skiing done, come back, get some kind of brunchy sort of, sort of thing, more skiing all day, uh, and then just out for a nice meal tomorrow. I fly home early on Sunday morning, so I don't want to be drinking or anything tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to feel fresh for Sunday. And then the normal week resumes as of Monday. But absolutely fantastic couple of days. Really, really, really enjoyed myself. Really enjoyed myself so far, so tomorrow will be cool as well. Get a full day of skiing in, get a bit of apre in. Bold your uncle, Fanny Durant, come to tea and it's fantastic. Good night.
Day two, what are we doing? Altitude experiences. Where's this taking us? Up the glacier. The glacier. And then I'm not sure. Oui. I've never been. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien, monsieur, toi? With that, the 2022 season draws to a close. Uh, it doesn't actually because we're it's 2023 and also I'm in Chamonix next month. But there you go. Uh, the bag is packed. The snowboard bag is in the car already. I'm not looking forward to finding out how much I'm going to be paying for the parking because we just went out for dinner and I saw a sign that said basically if you're staying longer than 24 hours come and like validate your ticket so that's going to be pretty s shit i think anyway it's 9:46. i'm going to bed because i'm up at 4 a.m to leave at 4 30 a.m to be at the airport for 7 30 a.m for my flight at 9 35 back in the 10 past 10 or something and then back to the grind i've savagely burnt my ear and i've got a decent bit of Goggle, ski goggle, ski mask, burn. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm exhausted and waffling. I hope you enjoyed this very invaluable vlog in terms of no value. I've had a great time. My sister had a great time. My heart is full. Good night, YouTube. I'll see you in the next one, peace.